Okay, so here I am in Wells, BC. First official day of the residency. It's raining like all heck. Uh, we're at the dump. Myself and uh, a few art of the artists are at the dump. There's a couple cars under there. There's an upside down camper. There's this amazing chair. And um, this is this is the carbon footprint, the physical carbon footprint, uh, at least the consumer side, um, of a community of 300 permanent residents and summer tourists. So, you know, it's still quite impressive. So it's something definitely worth reflecting on um, when we're thinking about these uh, global issues. Uh, I was going to get the artists to tell me about the things that they've made. Can you, and it's raining, uh, can you, <laughs> he's videoing me. Hi Casey, introduce yourself and tell me what you got. I grabbed some TV cable. Oh, TV cable. Sweet. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Susan? Um, a set of uh, lino from Painted Wood, a book. Okay. Which I'm really pleased about. It's got Can you tip that over? Here. And I've made a complete mess of your floor, so I'm. Oh, right. yes. And a little bit of fabric. Nice. Yeah. Reuse, recycle, recover. At least today we're not reducing. And then this thing we're not keeping, right? Is this? Okay. There's Stephanie with some wood. Cool. Yeah, wherever you can stick it. My cool poor camper. Uh, hmm. I, yeah. You want them in there? Mm, if <laughs> maybe we can have it hanging out the back so that it doesn't mess up the upholstery. Okay. Yeah. Drive with the door open. That's okay. We're only going a very short distance. We yeah. gotta find Alicia. You wanna help me put it in? So I'm Alicia Proudfoot. Yep. And I got it looks like some chair legs. And then a really cool stick. Nice. Yeah. You know, from a distance, they sort of all look like the same material. Yeah, <laughs> that that is the artist's eye right there. That's what I'm going for. And I think I, I'm doing a good job. The degree is worth something. There you go. Let Whoa, let let's you? let's pretend that's true. Um, that's a yeah. Um, do you have a plan, or are you just gonna go with it? Uh, I'm trying to collect a bunch of things. And I'm going to try and tie them together with, I have a circling fluorescent light. Okay. And I want to stick as many long, thin things in it okay. to like tie it together, but with a tube of light. Interesting. Instead of string, as one would normally do. Well, there is a lot of metal. There's some chain there. Ooh, I have a bit more piled here. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. This one looks more like a chair. Yeah, that 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 looks like an old uh, camping chair or something. Yeah. Looks that looks like a camping chair. All right. Okay, back to town. Back to town. And a quick shot of the landscape that is gorgeous if it was not otherwise interrupted by this horrible remnant of humanity. <laughs> Hello, it's me and I am here at Island Mountain Arts in Wells, BC, population 250 uh, of permanent residents. And it's gorgeous here. It's off and on raining. There's lots of bugs and these tiny little no see -um buggies that seem like they're going to be harmless, but then they, they bite you and, and, and they hurt. Uh, well, it's not really hurt. It's just no knowing. And uh, it's been two days since I went to the dump, but I wanted to sort of get dialed in to what I'm doing here in the studio and uh, and 
and start working before I made another post. Uh, and I'll, I'll probably show a few pictures of this, this quaint little village. Um, just, this is what I was working on last night. I was here until 3 o'clock. And this is the sixth panel, but it's the most uh, advanced. All of the, these panels, uh, these, these drawings, all kind of link up in one continuous um, thread so that I could display them in galleries of different sizes. So I just have more or less tacked on to the end, um, depending on the size of the space. And the reason I was here so late on top of being a night owl is that uh, I, I wanted to have a uh, smooth walls to work on because I don't want to pick up the texture and they didn't have any smooth walls um, so uh, like you can see here it's a uh, construction grade plywood and before it took picked up some of the texture and I didn't like that so um, so I kind of anticipated that and I brought dry dust and putty knives and I completely mudded this wall and then I uh, hung plastic sheeting on top of it and sanded it and that took a couple hours so that the, the, the dust wouldn't migrate to other people's spaces. And yeah. But that's kind of the, one of the things that you might have to do to uh, make sure that your practice is going the way you want. You sometimes need to control everything. Well, there's arguments to not always be in complete control, but, but in this case, I, it's part of the process to practice, I think. Um, I like how this is going. I think that this particular figure is maybe overly rendered because she's kind of dominating over the other other uh, figures kind of in that uh, movement. Um, so I might push her back a little bit and bring out some of the others. Uh, the mentors, Diana Thornycroft and Peter von Tiesenhausen, uh, who are very established Canadian fine artists. And I've known about their work since I was in school in the late 90s. Um, and uh, early 2000s, I went to Peter's uh, gallery, one of the galleries that showed his work in Calgary, uh, Trevani Bear, back in the day. And then I went to Diana Thornycroft's uh, Artist Lecture in 2001 at the University of Calgary. So I uh, know about their work, so it's a real pleasure to have their feedback. And Diana was sort of saying that just let her be for now and move on to the other drawings. and and kind of work them as a whole, which is great advice because you want to have all of them kind of moving um, forward on the same uh, same trajectory. So, yeah. So I'm going to take this drawing down, put up another one, and get going. There's mosquitoes buzzing around me. Uh, and at some point I might show some of the work that other artists are doing here. But I like how this is going. It's Monday, and we're out of here on Sunday, so I'm running out of time super fast um, because I have to get a lot done because I know that the rest of the summer is all family road trips, and all this is going to be boxed away. So there's nothing like family responsibility to light a fire under your ass. Actually, it's a really good thing about families. Okay.